All right, what's up? Gonna be talking about some uh, early game setups today, how you can change it as you get more units, and um, yeah, how to be flexible with the units you get overall. Uh, no script for this video today, probably gonna forget a lot of stuff because of that, and uh, yeah, before we get into it, just like, um, don't worry about the levels, because you'll usually be leveling only your front row anyways, and uh, I have my stuff like way too high level to be relevant uh, for this guide anyways, so yeah, let's get started. So. This is sort of the uh, bare bones basic setup after you get uh, your first nine monsters. Um, might be a little bit more than that, might be a little less, but you know, around the time that you're able to get all nine slots filled in, uh, you want to be running stacky as your carry, of course, speedy mighty. Uh, stuns in mid row. Reason you're putting a single target stun here is because I don't think too many enemies will get in the middle middle, whereas more enemies can be on the edges, especially with rocks being broken and no rocks being here. Uh, back row, you're just going to have a bit more DPS, you know, stun here. Uh, not gonna be using the back row too much, you know, it's just gonna finish off enemies. You don't want to be over reliant on this. Okay, now let's get started into the, um, the changes you can make if you do get some new monsters. So, let's say you do get, uh, a better carry, right? A better carry would be something like, um, like an Infernus, you know? Infernus is strong as a better carry. Um, or you can use something such as a, uh, what is this guy? Yeah, whoever this guy is. Pyro, yeah, he's also better carry than Stacky. um... I don't think all the time, but, you know, uh, I guess he's a bit more, uh, cost-effective, we could say. But Stacky might be a little bit better than him. Um, you also have someone like Frostbite. You know, if you, if you do get a Legendary, usually good to use that Legendary. Frostbite's good because also Frostbite provides utility as well. Damage isn't bad, you know, better than Stacky. Um, of course, you can also use a Puffy. Uh, Puffy just, you know, solid damage, outclassed by other stuff, but, um, not all that bad. And then, you know, of course, if you get really lucky... You can go with something such as a, uh, where is he, where is he? There we go, like a Kevin. Um, best carry, pre-Slime King. Uh, unless you get super lucky, you get a Mythic, Amaterasu, Jiraiya, uh, you know, Greek God. I'm not going to go into that too much because that relies on you being very, very, very lucky. Um, you know, something like this Electric Guy could also be good. Um, yeah, generally fine, cheap units to carry. Um, that will be uh, pretty strong between your Speedy Mighty. Um, Rudolph can also be decent. Again, not the best. I hmm. I don't think Rudolph is that good overall, but he's an option and uh, yeah, definitely viable, I guess, as a carry in the early game. Okay, with that out of the uh, with that out of the way, let's get into the uh, the middle row. Um, so yeah, ba baseline middle row. I believe Teddy's guaranteed epic at the start. Um, this guy, uh, Ice Mocha, yeah. I don't know his name, but he's pretty good. Sparky, also pretty good stun. Uh, one second less than Teddy, but, you know, multiple targets. Damage isn't bad. Again, won't matter too much uh, as you progress more in the game. Now, stuns are significantly more open than the front row. There's a lot of great stuns out there. Um, for example, instead of Sparky, you could go with something such as a... Um, what's it called? Yeah, this guy right here, Chili. Um, Chili's pretty good. You know, you're looking for duration. And you're looking for AoE. Right, you know, over this guy who's only single target three second, you know, you maybe get a, you get pretty lucky. You get something such as a, uh, you know, frostbite as we mentioned before. Ash also pretty strong as a stun, um, four seconds and AOE. Uh, it's not gonna hit everything all the time, but he's still not bad. Um, other than that, we have electric guy. This guy's basically, uh, he's basically Sparky. He can do a little bit more damage though, but um. I don't think his stun is as consistent, and um, and for that he's he's all right. Uh, Yeti's also definitely viable. Um, you know, stun two seconds. Uh, and then you have the Archangels. You know, really really strong stuns early on. You have Archimedes, really strong. Um, you know, again, if you get mythics, use your mythics. But uh, not gonna go into that too much. You know, Archimedes really strong even as a you know one bronze. But probably better put him in the back row because he's full map. But yeah. Archangels are um, are really good. Ice is better than lightning, I believe. Uh, honestly, not too sure. But um, yeah, strongest stuns you can probably get early game is uh, Archangels plus Ash. You know, of course, not including the Mythics. Um, these guys can be really good for keeping uh, keeping enemies CC, keeping them under control, giving your front row time to uh, time to finish them off. Uh, probably should replace this guy with Kevin just for the sake of showcasing, I guess, the the best possible loadout or one of the best possible loadouts that you can get early on so yeah just kevin here uh back row now ideally you want your back row to be global ability stuff that can affect the whole map stuff like susanu 
Archimedes, you know, Slime King after you get him. But, you know, this this guide is for before that. Otherwise, you just get some damage, you know. Damage on these guys. You're not going to be upgrading your back row too, too much. Um, if you do get stuff like uh, Epics, you know, a little bit more cost effective, you know, Infernus, uh, where's the fire guy? You know, let's say you do have some levels on your Stacky before you switch your carry. Stacky could be played back here. Um, yeah, your, your back row is generally pretty flexible. Um, you can make it, you know, this electric guy is pretty good. Uh, you know, if you do get a Felina, you know, I guess you can put a Felina there. Um, just don't level her too much, you know. Not very, uh, not very cost effective early on. And then, you know, this fire guy as well. Not the greatest, but again, back row is pretty open and stuff. But when you, when you do get a, uh, a global ability, always want to put it in the back. You, you high roll a Susanoo early on. Uh, drop it in the back. You get a, uh, you get a, what's it called? What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Archimedes. Yeah. You get an Archimedes back here. Also really strong. Uh, again, full map coverage. Um, and then, you know, let's say, let's say you do end up hitting a Jiraiya early on, you know, it is an event where you can get the Japanese mythics. Um, you, it definitely could be an option to put him in the back row, right? Cause he has full map range. But if you do get a Jiraiya in this age of game, you might as well put some levels in them, get it, get him to like level 10, level 15, put him in between the speedy mighty, he'll carry you easily out of uh, JR normal. Much easier than Kevin as well. Because uh, he's just such a uh, just strong monster. But yeah, again, back row. I uh, guess you could also put something like, you know, I, I probably said Frostbite. Yeah, Frostbite can go there. Um, yeah, of course, you know, Crispy can go here. Um, just like full map coverage and yeah this is probably one of the uh, the, the better loadouts you can get early on not including mythics um, get your nice stuns get your nice full map abilities you know get a Kevin in the middle but again you really don't need any of this stuff to to progress in the game you, you really like even if you don't get lucky at all you know just use your stacky or use like a infernus maybe use like a frostbite um, and then this will this will get you through uh, many of the early levels, and then of course you you don't even need uh, you don't even need the full global abilities in your back row. They're really just a luxury. Uh, it stuns mid row again. Really don't need to be this good. So all of this stuff I went into is just based on you know if you do end up hitting a monster that will be beneficial, right? Um, but if you don't, you just use what you have and you uh, you make the best out of it. You know even if your only stun option is something like a Rocky plus like a Clyde. Um, Plus, uh, I don't know, you, you don't have another stun, you get a spider, you know, the worst worst case scenario that probably can't happen in a realistic game. Most of the work is being done by our front line anyways, and that's, at the end of the day, that's just the most important thing to look at, is to just have a strong front line. Usually just don't focus any gold into leveling your backliners at all, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the video for today, just going into some uh, variations of uh, front lines, back lines, whatever, you know, elaborating a bit more on what I said in... Uh, early game setups video just to you know make the best out of what you have uh know what units are good what units you should avoid such as you know what i showed here rocky clyde uh slows and um slows and armor breaks because slows and armor breaks are just worse uh worse stuns and worse damage but yeah that's gonna be it for today uh like subscribe uh no garbage google docs to link in this video today but uh yeah it's gonna be it see ya